Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organics 50 and Raw. I wanted to show you guys what I purchased at the Asian market today. Now, I really enjoy watching Megan Elizabeth's videos. Um, if you haven't seen her videos, go to her YouTube channel and subscribe there because she has some good stuff. Um, and they're always talking about jackfruit and they're always talking about durian. And they actually just had a durian ice cream, um, what do they call it? Uh, kind of like a cook-off, but of course they weren't cooking it. And it was really fun to watch. I, I recommend seeing that, the durian ice cream, uh, I can't remember what she called it, but so they made um, four different ice creams and then they had judges taste which one was the best. And, and I have tried durian. I did purchase one at the Asian market. And I did do a video on that. It's down through my videos. And I really do like the flavor of durian. It's creamy. Um, it's uh, sweet. I, I enjoy the flavor of it. But my children don't like when I eat it because of the smell. So, I. but anyway, I went today. I thought, you know, I bet they have frozen jackfruit. Because I watched a video yesterday by John Kohler from OK Raw. And he talks a lot about jackfruit and he's sitting out in the porch of his girlfriend's house eating this big old jackfruit. And I thought, I wonder if they have frozen jackfruit. So I went to two Asian markets here in the little city that I live and I was able to get some jackfruit. Now, the first one I went to, this one doesn't look very good. There's ice in there and it looks all freezer burned and it's just not even a pretty picture of the jackfruit. But there is jackfruit in there and it's called green jackfruit. And it's from the Philippines. It was $1.19. And from what I've heard in the videos, jackfruit tastes like juicy fruit bubble gum. So I'm planning on using that in some of my smoothies. I also purchased, so I left that market and I went to another one because they didn't have the durian and I thought the other one might, but they didn't either. And they had, this jackfruit and this one looks much better so can you see that and it's just pure jackfruit it comes from this one says product of vietnam so this jackfruit comes from vietnam this jackfruit comes from the philippines this one looks much much fresher and it's vacuum packed so i'm really looking forward to thawing this and trying it out with my kids so I bought a couple packages of those, and this was, oh, I, I don't know how much that one was, but it's not very expensive. So you really, if you have an Asian market, well, I, I always thought an Asian market was like a farmer's market. There was a place where the Asian people sold their stuff, but that's not so. Asian market is like an Asian store. If you can find an Asian store, go in there and just start looking around and see what they have. Now, one day when I was looking around, I did notice that they had shredded young coconut meat frozen in the freezer. Can you see that? And I thought, hmm, that made a little memory in my brain. And um, I haven't been buying many coconuts lately because I buy them and the meat is hard. And I want that young coconut meat that will make, that when you blend it will be creamy. If you use the coconuts that are older, then when you blend it, it's gritty. So yesterday I was watching another video by Megan Elizabeth, her newest one, where she talks about making a, um, a cereal bowl using coconut uh, yogurt. So she takes the young coconut <clears throat> meat, she blends it, and she adds probiotic to it, lets it sit, and then she uses that as a yogurt. And I thought, well, you know, instead of going and buying another coconut that's probably no good, I remembered that the Asian market had this frozen. And all it is is shredded young coconut. So actually, no, this one has sugar, water, ascorbic acid, and sodium metasulfite. <sighs> okay, well, anyway, that's a dud. I was excited. I thought it was pure shredded coconut. But I will look for that. The other thing I purchased was frozen grated coconut. And let me make sure this is just frozen grated coconut. Yes, it is. And this is a product of Thailand. And I like the frozen grated coconut because it, uh, a lot of dehydrated recipes call for frozen grated coconut and I believe it's kind of, it helps stuff stick together 
and it gives it a, um, a sweet you know consistency when you're making dehydrated cookies and stuff like that so I did get a couple packages of this for making some cookies or and then the last thing I purchased was this grated purple yam ube it's called and this is a product of the Philippines the Philippines man, they can eat so healthy they have so much fruit and vegetables over there that we can't get here it's amazing but then they move over here to America and they start to eat our diet our standard American diet and then they start to get our our diseases they start they become obese and they start to get sick like Americans do it's, it's really sad instead of them coming over and influencing our diet we influence theirs and it's too bad but yeah this has just got grated purple yam in it and um, it is uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I was thinking that I might put it in a smoothie or something I'm not really sure but it was fun looking I like the purple color because that's another phytochemical and I wanted to try it okay no this is really the last thing I bought I thought that was but I forgot about this this looked like fun it's called a cocoa glaze made from real coconut it's a tropical coconut dessert and you can see can you see that it's it's a coconut shell and inside it has I guess a, like a pudding in there and I did check out the ingredients before I bought this one and it has in it um, where's the ingredients? fresh coconut juice coconut meat does have a little bit of sugar and agar agar powder so this looks fun to me I just want to give it a try and see how it tastes so I may thaw this out and eat this later on but go to your local Asian food market go in and ask them questions they're very nice they're very helpful you know they they uh, like that we're interested in their food and in their culture so um, yeah they have a they have other things in there and usually they have a fresh um, section too where you get ginger and then they're their, their um, Asian vegetables and um, and then most of the Asian markets sell a lot of fish and if you're not a hundred percent raw or you are eating some fish it's a really good place to go that cheap you know they, they probably have a good high quality fish that's not grown in a fish farm or something like that like we tend to grow ours so anyway that was a lot of fun uh, going to the market and I was in a hurry so I just kind of whipped through real fast and grabbed things that I needed but I look forward to going back so okay bye guys give it a try go find something fun